A hot and hazy update for Grounded brought with it the ability to upgrade your character stats as well as stack sizes for many items. To unlock these upgrades, you'll need to find Milk Molars for the character stats and Mega Milk Molars for the stack sizes. Milk Molars and Mega Milk Molars are scattered around the backyard in each of the currently populated areas. Some are easy to spot, while others are a bit trickier. In this video, I'll show you where to find every Milk Molar and Mega Milk Molar currently in the game. To make this as simple as possible, I'll be covering each major area of the map one at a time, starting with the Koi Pond and Oak Tree. The other major areas are the Grasslands, the Hedge, the Deck and Haze, the Trash Heap, the Black Ant Hill, the Sandbox, and the Picnic Table. I'll also leave timestamps down in the description so you can jump around to whichever area you are searching. Before we begin, make sure you're subscribed and turn on notifications so you never miss any Grounded videos. Let's get started. So we're going to start with the Koi Pond and Oak Tree area, but before we begin, we want to make sure we have the right equipment. So first of all, you're going to make sure you need to have the insect hammer. You're going to need this to break the milk molars and mega milk molars that are inside the tooth looking like vitamins. You're going to need a tier two dagger, so either the bone dagger or the spider fang dagger in order to cut through some vines that we're going to need to, to get to some of the areas that we're going to need to get to. And you're going to want to make sure you have some torches and some either and a slime lantern or two because we're going to be going in some dark caves as well as underwater in some of the areas. And then last but not least, you're going to make sure you have either brat burst or splat burst because there's going to be some rocks you're going to need to destroy. They were added in the hot and hazy update where you can, there's some rocks that look like they have cracks on them. And you can, if you drop an explosive, they will actually break and you can get behind them. So you're going to need a couple of those. And then I'm playing in creative, so it doesn't really matter, but I have aphids livers just to move around the map quicker. And then I'm going to have fin flops to swim underwater. So obviously the areas where we're underwater, you're going to want to make sure you have the underwater gear and then use whatever armor or weapons you see fit for the other areas of the map. So without further ado, let's hop right on in and go into the oak tree lab. So we're in the oak tree here. When I say oak tree and pond area, what I'm referring to is this top area here that's above this line. So it's the koi pond and the, surround, the shore up here, as well as the stones that are around here and to the oak tree fence. This is the oak tree fence here. So everything in this area is the koi pond and oak tree. So first of all, we're going to go down into the oak tree lab, which is where Burgle's located. And there's going to be two milk molars down here. First is going to be over here to the left. Go down in this room and to where the four batteries are, we're going to head to the left. And right down there, we're going to see a mega milk molar, which you can bust. That's gold. We're going to head past Burgle. Down here, we're going to get one of our torches out so we don't accidentally fall. If you walk across this branch over here, head over onto this rock. And then just follow this tunnel around. I believe it's this way. Yeah, yeah, it's this way. Should be right up here on the right. This is a milk molar. So the milk molars are white. They give you the resource that's needed to upgrade your character stats. And the mega milk molars are gold. They're the ones that give you the stack size increase. So now let's head on outside and take a look at the others that are around the oak tree. All right, so first off, we're going to go inside the area where the wolf spiders spawn. So if you're familiar with this area, two wolf spiders can spawn under here. Right now, there's only one. Now, this Mega Milk Molar was behind a rock. So there is a rock here that you have to destroy. You just drop the Brat Burst or the Splat Burst right next to it, back up so you don't take damage from it. It'll disappear, and it'll reveal this Mega Milk Molar. And then next up, there's going to be one over here by the other Wolf Spider spawn that's north of the Oak Tree. Let's see if he's sleeping down there. So yeah, right behind this... Wolf Spider, there is a Milk Molar back in that corner. You should be able to see it right back there, hidden back there. And there's another easy one to get over here. This one's going to be a little bit safer to get because there's not going to be Wolf Spiders near it. And as you can see, if there is actually a scab upgrade that will show you where Milk Molars are, which I have already purchased. So right here underneath of this can, which is the whelp flavored drink, there's going to be a milk molar hiding under here, which we're going to have to crouch down to get to and reach. So those are all the ones that are near the oak tray. Now let's head into the koi pond and show you the ones that are actually there. There's one over here. So we're going to run over here real quick. So right here on the side of the pond where the ore weaver spawn, there is a regular milk molar right here. And as you may have noticed, there is a little bit of a trend here. Especially these, they have a lot of them have been near where spiders are spawning, so they're trying to make it a little bit more dangerous for you to collect them. 
So next up, we're gonna swim across the pond real quick and take a look at the ones that are on the outside of the pond before diving into the pond. So we made our way across the pond. Here's the pagoda that the bird lands on, the crow lands on sometimes. And over here in the corner, the very corner, you're gonna see a mega milk molar hiding down here. And then the next one's gonna be way up here along the wall. So let's skip ahead until we get to that. Right, we made our way down the koi pond. Here's the log to the left, the rotten log over here that has the mosquitoes near it. And then right here against the wall, the retaining wall is going to be another milk molar. So those are the ones that are outside the pond. So, so far the ones we found were the four that were inside the oak tree and the oak tree lab, the one that's under the whelp flavored can drink, the one over here by the ore weavers, this mega molar up here that's on the shore against the retaining wall, and then this one I just found against the retaining wall. So now we're going to hop into the koi pond and look for the ones that are down there. Right, we made our way back down the koi pond, and we are on the north shore directly across from the oak tree. You can see this leaf right here. Directly under this leaf, there's a cave that's down here. That's why this floating marker's here. So we're going to come down here. I'm going to put my slime lantern on so you can see. There's a cave way down here. This might be new. I'm not sure. I don't remember seeing this. And you're going to swim up in here. Make sure you have your fin flops on. And as you can see, back there behind this, the soggy roots are is a milk molar. So you're going to need to chop that with a tier 2 dagger. Next, we're going to head down towards the koi pond. So we're going to go past the T-Rex. And what we're looking for is the treasure chest that's down here that has the burgle chip in it because they added a mega milk molar to that. So make sure you stay underneath of the jets here so you don't get pushed past. And you're going to notice that there is a mega milk molar in here. So if you've already gotten this burgle chip, make sure you come back here and grab this out of there. And we're going to swim directly up here because there is a mega milk molar also up here. And you're going to need the level 2 or the tier 2 dagger to cut through this to get this mega milk molar and then the last one's going to be all the way back here so this switch that's in here that you have to flick for this thing to start up we're going to come in here because they added a milk molar down in there as well we're going to swim down this tube you're going to want to make sure you have fin flops otherwise you're not going to be able to make this and it's pushed me back now but as soon as it stops i'll be able to make it so we'll swim up here make the hard right come down here past the switch once again you're going to need the dagger to cut through this to grab this one as well so after you grab that one you can head out of the pond depths which are over this way what we're going to be looking for is this sunken log that's down here and directly behind it we're going to have another milk molar hiding down here behind these soggy roots so you're going to have to chop through that and grab that one so that's all the milk molars and mega milk molars that are in the koi pond slash oak tree area of the map so just to recap, there were a total of eight milk molars and five mega milk molars inside this area, which is the koi pond and the oak tree. There's two inside the lab, one of each. There's also a milk molar and a mega milk molar where the wolf spider spawn. The mega is inside where the two spawn. The milk molar is where the single one spawns. You're going to have to blow this one up with explosives to get to it. There's one underneath the soda can here to the right of the oak tree. Another down here along the retaining wall. There's a mega milk molar along this retaining wall and a milk molar up here along this retaining wall. And if you jump down in the water by the leaf and go straight down, there's a cave underneath the water down here that's going to have a milk molar. Remember to bring a bone dagger or a spider fang dagger in order to chop through the soggy roots. There's two mega milk, mega milk molars when we come down here past the T-Rex. One's inside the treasure chest. The other one is directly right. If you make a right from the treasure chest, it goes straight up to the wall. There's one up against the wall. And then the milk molar is in the far back switch that's inside the glass case that you have to swim down into. Again, you're going to need to cut the soggy roots. Once you make your way out of the pond depths, you can swim up directly north, look for the rotten log, the sunken log that's underneath the water. There's one behind that, and that's all of them. So in total, from this area, you should have eight of the white ones and five of the gold ones for a total of 13. Eight are for the stats, five are for your stack sizes. So now let's head on over to the grasslands and take a look at the ones that are in that area. So the first one we're going to look for in the grasslands area is going to be just past the Franken line. So if we run down here along the retaining wall, you're going to notice that it is down here against this wall over here. And what you're going to have to do to get to it is jump to the leaf, and then you're going to have to break it with a hammer. So we're going to head over here, hop onto this leaf, and you should be able to crack it from here. Grab the piece out of the middle, and you're good to go. After we grab that one, we're going to head south towards the soda can that's over here with the billy hog tray leaning up against it. Up 
hop on the billy hog tray oh yeah perfect so there's a mega milk molar right here on top of this soda can which is the jabby cola so that's the jabby cola so so far we have one and one and we're going to make our way down to the red ant hill Okay, so we're at the Red Ant Hill. This one's pretty easy to get. You're basically just going to walk in this entrance, the main entrance, the only entrance, I think. We're going to walk straight down to the main opening area. You're going to notice there's a lot more ants now, so getting ant eggs is going to be much easier. We're going to walk past these guys. We're just going to stay straight down this tunnel. And you're going to come here. You're going to walk off of this, down this area. And the milk molar is going to be right there. So that one's really simple to get. Just walk straight down the main path. Keep going straight until you run directly into this. After finishing the Red Ant Hill, we're going to head on over to the Wolf Spider, the Wolf Spider Den that's underneath the plank that's fallen over. So we're going to head on across the grasslands over to that. So here's the plank that's leaning over. What we're going to do is we're going to go down into this tunnel where there's a Wolf Spider. Like I said, they wanted the, a lot of these are hidden near Wolf Spiders. So we're going to head on down here. Some spiderlings walking by us. You notice it's directly over here to the right, literally sitting right next to the wolf spider that's sleeping on here. So you're going to have to, if you're lucky and the wolf spider's not there, you might be able to just harvest it quickly. If not, you're going to have to knock him out before you end up grabbing it. And the last one's going to be in the Spade Gulch Cave, so let's head on over to that. All right, we're over at Spade Gulch. There's two ways to get into this cave. I don't know if the second way is was new because I don't remember seeing it before, but it might have always been there. This is the way I normally go into it. There's typically going to be two acorns down here you're going to have to break, and there's also a rock that you're going to have to destroy with an explosive. What we're going to do is we're going to come down in here. And you're going to make a right. Right when you get to the field station, you're going to make a right. Go down here. And we're going to swim in this water. And back in that corner. Once again, you're going to need the dagger to chop the soggy roots. You're going to get a mega milk molar. Now you can also exit out this way, and you don't actually have to destroy anything to get in if you go this way. But sometimes there's a ton of larvae down here, because I guess this is where they sleep. Right now there's only one. The last time I came through here, there was probably like six or seven of them. So you're going to want to be careful if you come out this way. Just to show you where this is on the map, it's right here. This is, there's a... One of the lasers is right here. So this little cave here, I don't know if this is new. I don't remember seeing this before, but it might've always been here. I just maybe have missed it. So that's the way out of it. So just to recap, the grasslands area is the in between these lines here. The haze is over here, so we didn't touch on these yet. So it's basically just the grass area that's over here where there's green grass and there's a little bit of dry grass. And what we found were, there was a total of three milk molars and two mega milk molars. The first milk molar was up here along the retaining wall, just behind that little puddle. There was a mega milk molar on top of the soda can over here. There's a milk molar inside of the red ant hill. There's a milk molar underneath the plank here where the wolf spider sleeps. And then there's a mega milk molar down here. Just make a right at the field station when you come in that entrance. And you have to swim down and chop out the soggy roots to get this one. So a total of three milk and two mega in here. So now let's head on down to the hedge and take a look at the ones down there. All right, so we're in the northern part of the hedge area, which is right here on the map. And the first one we're going to find is against this retaining wall. There we go. We have a mega milk molar down here. So this one's just laying here, easy to harvest. Be careful because sometimes there's ore weavers wandering around over here. And there's also a stink bug or two in the dry grass over there. All right, so after you've grabbed the one up there, you can head over here. There's going to be one down here. This one's pretty easy to get other than the ore weavers. As you can see, it's sitting here in the broken piece of the lab that's lying down here. So you're just going to hop in there, break that. Then we're going to come over here to the tree. If you've completed the lab, some of these doors are probably, most of these doors are probably open. If you haven't, you can just walk up here. We're going to head up here to the left. Parkour our way around this branch. And there's the gold one right here. So there's the mega molar. All right, so after you grab this one, you can head on into the lab. Be careful not to fall. We're going to go up here to the left. And up to the left again. I'm 
gonna come to this branch. What we're gonna do is we're going to walk off this branch right here because we're going up to that door. So you just walk off of here onto the branch. Make your up here. Be careful not to fall. Might be some spider webs up here you have to chop. And you're gonna make a left here. Follow this branch over here. To this room. And there we got another milk molar sitting right here inside of this room. So those are the ones that are in the northern part of the hedge. Let's head over to the bird bath and the rest of the hedge. All right, so we made our way over to the bird bath. Now, how you get up here is going to be up to you. There's a couple ways up here. So whatever you find easiest to get up here, basically you're just going to get up here and there is a mega molar sitting up here. This is on top of the bird bath. So now let's head down to the rest of the hedge and find the last three that are over here. So now we're in the bottom right corner. This is the southeast part of the map. And there's going to be one back here just laying on the ground. Now make sure you get close enough to it because apparently, depending on your settings, you might not be able to see it from far away. So just make sure you get close to it. So that one's just sitting right there. Then we're just going to head down this wall. You're going to want to be careful because the wolf spider that spawns underneath the deck does wander over here. One, either that one or one of the other ones over here does tend to wander along this wall sometimes. So as you're making your way down here to the very end, just be a little bit careful. We made our way all the way down to the end of this wall. Now, you also want to be careful because there's a bunch of larvae that normally spawn down here. What we're going to do is we're going to walk up this wire right here. Just to show you where it is. You're going to have to build up to this one because as far as I know, there's no easy way to get to this. And we're not even going to be able to reach it from here. But it is sitting right there. You can see it's sitting on top of the plug. So you're going to have to build your way up to here or use trampoline, the web, bounce webs or something in order to get up to here. Then there's one more that's pretty straightforward, although you're going to have to probably build up to this one too. So after you grab the one that's on the plug, you're going to head over here to the paper clip. We're going to head up this branch here. We're going to go up to the right. We're going to go to the right of the field station. And what we're looking for is the juice box that's up here. So we're going to head over here. So we're looking for that juice box right there. Get a little bit of light out just so it's a little bit easier for you to see. And I'm walking because I know I'll fall off of here if I don't take my time. Like I almost did right there. You'll notice I already built up to it. So this one's a little bit tough to see. But you're going to have to somehow build your way up to here. And there it's sitting on there. So that's all the ones that are in the hedge area. So just to recap real quick, there were five milk molars, three mega milk molars. The first one we found was up here along the retaining wall. That's a mega milk molar laying up there. Next up, we went into the lab that's over here, and we found a milk molar and a mega milk molar. There's another milk molar up here in the little satellite building. The bird bath has a mega milk molar. The bottom right corner of the map, southeast corner of the map, there's one laying all the way back in the corner. One above the Tropico juice box. And then last but not least, there's one over here above the outlet on top of the plug. So now that we've gotten all the ones out of the hedge, let's head on over to the deck and the haze area. And just to show what I mean by deck and haze area, this is the deck. It's the orange wooded area. And the haze area is over here. Now, on this world, I have plugged up the weed killer. So you will not be able to see any haze that's actually gone. It's going to be much easier to see stuff. If you haven't plugged up the weed killer, I do have a video for that. I'll leave a link for it down in the description below. Make sure you check that out. It's much easier to see. The only downside is right now is there's a lot of infected insects that are wandering the yard. I'm not sure if that's intended or if they're going to make that not the case because they are wandering outside of the haze area now, whereas before they were not. But anyway, let's head on over to that area. All right, so we made our way over to the deck, and you're going to see our little friend, the wolf spider over here, going back to his house. There's actually two wolf spiders over here. That's interesting. I've never seen two over here. I don't. Maybe that one doesn't sleep here. Anyway, one of the wolf spiders spawns right here, and of course, directly behind it is going to be our first milk molar over in this area. So as we've seen before, where there's a wolf spider, there's probably going to be a milk molar. So there's one back here. And what we're going to do is we're going to head down here towards the weed killer can so we can find the others that are in the haze area. All right, so we made way, way over into the haze area. We're just south of the rock that has the rake leaning against, which is right here. And our first milk molar is going to be down here in this canyon area, which some people are calling the abyss. This one's a little bit tough to get out of. So there's a mega milk molar down here. Right here, and then you're gonna see some other stuff down there. There's usually a crow feather and some other things down here, including a bunch of infected larvae, so you need to be careful. To get out of here, the easiest way I found was to come up to this spot right here. Just jump. Spam jump till you get out of it. 
So that's after you grab that one. What you're going to do is you're going to head around the rock and we're going to head over to where the weed killer and rake are because there's a couple that are over there. All right, we're between the weed killer can and the rake over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to head down this path down here towards this canyon. And you're going to see directly in front of us is a milk molar down there. So you can grab that one and come on out, make a left and head to the right of this field station. Or this little canyon over here. And directly beneath us is a gold milk molar. So you can grab that one. After you grab that one, what you want to do, fall down here, grab this one. Then head up this path over here. This is the way out. Of course, be careful because these strange spores are going to explode. Head down this way to find the final one that's in the haze area. All right, so I made my way a little bit to the west here, and we're right here on the map. What you're going to do is you're going to follow this path down here, this giant canyon. Carefully navigate our way through this area. Lots of stink bugs here. You get tons of stink bug parts in here. A lot of quartzite as well. And down here at the end is going to be our fifth and final milk molar that's in this area. When you want to exit, you want to just come up here and go to the right. That'll get you out of this canyon area. And we'll head over here to the path, the stone path real quick, just to recap. So just to recap, the first one we found was over here under the deck near the wolf spider spawn. Then there were four different ones, two milk, two milk molars, two mega milk molars inside of the canyon or the abyss area down here. If you haven't cleared the haze, there's a good chance you're probably not even going to be able to see these unless you're actually in the canyon because when you're looking down, it's pretty dark. So it's up to you whether or not you want to remove the haze or leave the haze there. It's going to be easier to see them, but it does come with its drawbacks because currently right now there's a lot of infected insects wandering outside of the haze area after the haze has been turned off. Not sure if that's a bug or intended, but anyway, just to recap, there's three milk molars and two mega milk molars in the deck slash haze area. So now we're going to head over to the trash heap, which is one of the newer areas that was updated in the hot and hazy update. Let's head over that way. All right, so I've made my way to the bottom left corner of the map. This is the southwest corner of the map. This is the trash heap. This was just updated in the hot and hazy update. Prior to this update, this was just an open area back here with some grass and dirt. So right now we are by the hose and the puncho box. And what we're going to do to find our first couple of milk molars is we're going to head over here to the left and follow these trash bags back here. We get to these trash bags here and see some water. We're going to dive down in this water and swim to the right. We're going to come up here and make a left. And inside this can, we're going to find our first milk molar. This is the Mega, so you're going to have to hop up here in order to break it because you can't break it while you're swimming. We're going to come out of the can. Pop up out of the water back towards where we just came from so we just came from underneath there we're gonna go this way past this apple you're gonna need to have a gas mask here if you don't have one on and we're looking for the yoked girth head box which is right here and behind that is going to be a milk molar and there's our superheroes right here all right so after we've grabbed the one behind the yoked girth head box what we're gonna do is we're gonna head here past the black anthill so this is the black anthill entrance and we'll come back to this in just a minute here's a computer monitor sitting back here we're gonna stay to the right of the computer monitor head on along here we're gonna come out to the front of this trash can over here and what we're looking for is the i think this is a knife that's laying over and we need to walk up All right, we're going to head up this knife that's laying over here. And the one that was in here originally was inside of a can, but now it's been moved because the terrain changed. They changed it two days after the public test server opened. So I have a marker down here. It was actually down there, but now there's dirt there. So what we're going to do is we're going to head up here to the left. And it has been moved inside of this trash pile up here. And again, this might look slightly different depending on what food's in here, because you can actually harvest the hot dog and the donuts and stuff so we're going to hop over here what we're looking for is the soda can and the juice box and here's our mega molar that's back here and then to get to the last one what we need to do is get up top inside of this area 
So we're going to hop right around here. We're going to jump on this plastic knife on top of the billy dog tray and then on top of the trash can. And then we got to walk across this stick carefully without falling inside the hole that it's sticking into. I'm going to walk slowly because I don't really feel like having to run back up here. And after we get on here, what we're going to do is not fall off, hopefully. We're going to walk up to the top. We're going to jump over here to the computer monitor. And we are going to hop onto this shovel that's laying over. All the way up the shovel, the top of this trash can. Now I built up over here just to put the marker so I could remember where it was. But it is right inside of this cup, I believe. Yeah, here, here it is inside the coffee cup, so we're on top of the trash can. So there's only four inside of the trash heap area. Just to recap, there's one behind the yoke earth head. There's one in the smashed can that you have to swim under to get to. So I came in this way, and then we swam under. I think we came out right here, made a left and went down into the can that was underwater, then came back up and went in behind the yoke earth head, past the anthill, and you're going to make a right, I think this is the computer monitor, so you go right past the computer monitor. We found the one that was in here. This is the old spot, so this one's no good anymore, but I can't remove the trail marker because it's now hidden below the train. This is the one that's underneath, between the soda can and the juice box that's in the back of that container. And then we walked up the plastic knife on top of the trash can, onto the trash bag, jumped over to the Tra the what was it the computer mod we dropped jumped over got on top of the shovel and walked our way all the way up here to the cup so in the trash heap area there are two mega molars and two milk molars so now we're going to head into the next area which is going to be the black anthill of the areas in the game this is the one that's most tricky i don't have that much time in it so i'm going to try to do my best to show you exactly where stuff is so let's hop let's head on over to there All right, so I made my way back to the Black Ant Hill, so we're going to head in here. There are a total of four milk molars in here, two white, two gold. So we're going to head down in here, and we're going to go past this room that has the sun in it and go straight. This is the only way we can go when we get in here. Then we're going to come to another big room. And the only way you can go in here is by going down to this cave to the right. So we've come down this, we've come into the entrance from the trash pile or the trash heap, going straight, straight, and then we made it right here. So this is the only way you can possibly go. Now we're gonna come to the split. You can either go left or right. We're gonna go to the right first and turn your torch off if you have one. And we're gonna stay over here to the right. So when you come down that, when you go right, you're gonna lead to this door that says B. You don't wanna go in there. You wanna stay to the right over here. Hug this wall. And right there, we're going to see our first milk molar. We're going to come over here. Make your first right. There's going to be a rock somewhere here you have to destroy with an explosive. I don't remember exactly where it was, but you have to destroy it. And then you just get your milk molar right here. We're going to come back out of there. So we came from that direction. We're gonna to go to the right now. We're gonna come down here. And we are gonna go into this door, I believe. Yeah, so we go through this door. And here's our milk molar right here. Now, if you haven't completed the lab, these doors might not be open, so you need to make sure you complete the lab. So then this is that one. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna backtrack the way we came because we need to go back to where that split was. So that's the two milk molars. When you come out of there, you're going to go back up here to the right. Back up here, past the one we just saw a moment ago. And then we're heading back up to where this split is, the fork in the road. We're going to go back here past the door that says B on it. Follow the lights up here. All right, so we're back at the split. We just came from that direction. Now we're going to go to the left. There are two mega molars this way. We're going to follow the lights up here. When we come out, we're going to see this door that says B on it. We're going to go straight into this door. 
We're gonna head on down here. We're gonna go through this door. And it looks like you can go straight. I believe there was a rock here that has to be destroyed. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure there's a rock here that you have to blow up with an explosive. And there might actually be another one that you have to blow up back here. I can't remember exactly, but I'm pretty sure. Just bring a bunch of uh, explosives, like brat burst and spy burst when you come back here. When you come into this room, we're just going to go straight to the back. And we're looking for this dirt pile that's going up here in an angle. And then we're going to head up here, and there's our first mega molar, which you can reach by just jumping over here. And we're going to hop back out here. Go back to where we came from. Here's the door we just came from. We're going to go straight here, down this tunnel. This will lead us to the area where the mini boss is, the assistant manager that you can spawn in. If you haven't already done so, you should probably try to defeat him because you're going to need his key card later on. He's in there. Instead of going in there, you're just going to make a hard right up here, and here's your second mega molar, second mega milk molar. So once again, there were two milk molars, two mega milk molars down here for a total of four, two of each. The mini boss is in here. You're going to have to drop an explosive right here in order to break the glass and go fight him. Once you defeat him, you'll get a key card from him, which you're going to need. So now let's head on over to the sandbox so I can show you where the milk molars are in the sandbox. All right, so we're in the sandbox. I came through the black ant hill. This is where it puts you out. Now just be careful. On the other, underneath of this blue sand toy here is a wolf spider. I will just show you. This wolf spider spawns here. So he's sleeping under there right now because it's daytime. So just be mindful if you come out of here, especially if it's at night, there's a chance he's going to be wandering around. What we're going to do is we're going to look for the ones that are in here. So first off, we're going to go over here to the lab. If you beat the mini boss, you will have gotten the assistant manager key card. I'm pretty sure you need that to open up the lab, which I've already done. So we're going to open this lab up. We're going to come in here. What you're going to see is on the wall here is a little picture. Now, fortunately, when I did this the first time, it actually was just a block of text. It told you exactly what to do. Basically, what you're doing is you need to wait for the time to hit 1530, which is 330 in the afternoon. So right now it is 926. So it would be when it says 1530, you're going to look for where the shovel is. You're going to dig up the key. and That's going to let you open up the treasure chest. I've already done that. So what we're going to do is we're going to head out here. And the shovel we're talking about is this one. So what, real quick, what I'll show you is the shadow is slowly moving. When it gets to the right position at, at 1530, you'll dig up the treasure. It's a key. And what you're going to do is you're going to bring the key over here to the castle. And we're going to hop down into the moat in a second. We're going to jump over this way first. So you can swim or you can just jump over here, whatever's faster for you. And as you can see, the chest is actually open because I already opened it. But you'll bring the key from over there. You'll bring it in here. Bam, inside of there is going to be a milk morsel right there. So Or milk molar. So we're going to take that. And we're going to head out here and go to our next location. All right, so I swam my way out of the moat. Now, I built this little bridge across here. There's no real easy way to get over here. In fact, you're probably going to have to build some building to bring some building materials with you in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop up here. And when we get to the picnic area, I'll show you. There's actually a zip line that goes from the picnic area down to here. So there, you're probably going to end up having to build stairs to get in here. It's just going to be the easiest way. What we're going to do is we're going to head around here to the back where I've already built up. Because there, of course, is a milk molar on top of the tall, tall tower in the center. So I built myself a little stairs back here. I'm going to head up here. Head all the way up here to the top. And here we go, right here up in the center. we got a milk molar. There's also raw science over there. there might have been two raw sciences over here. I can't remember. So that's the one that's up here. And now we're going to head on over to those flower pots over there because there's one inside of there as well. All right, so I'm heading over to the flower pots, which are on the side of the sandbox. I believe it's the south side. Yeah, the south side of the sandbox where the trash pot, where the trash heap is. And this is another one that's going to be tough to get to. You're going to have to probably build up to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop around here. I don't into these plants. I don't believe the cactuses hurt you, although I haven't touched the cactuses in survival. Maybe they do hurt you. So just be careful. There's a mega molar in there, as you can see. And then there are two more that are near this actually three more that are near the sandbox so let's go check out those real quick all right i made my way over to one of the antlion spawns so there's an antlion right here what we're going to do is we're going to knock him out real quick then we are going to 
go out into the tunnel that he leaves. Alright, so after you kill the antlion, you're going to harvest his moraines. The cave is going to open up beneath it. We're going to come down here, get our little torch out. And there's our Mega Molar that's in here. So there's two more that are both outside of the sandbox on the outside edges. So let's head on over and I'll show you where they are. All right, so we're over by the side of the sandbox that's nearest to the fence. What we're going to do is we're going to hop up on the shovel, walk up here, grab that raw science if you haven't already grabbed it. Head on down this way. And we should see ourselves a milk molar down here. Next to the roly poly. It's up this way. So there's the milk molar that's over here, and there's one more. So we're going to quickly head on over there to the other side of the sandbox to show you the last one. All right, I made my way outside to the top right part of the sandbox. So we're just outside of here to the top right corner, and there's this broken pipe. And what we're going to do is we're going to swim down here. You're going to need to make sure you have fin flops, probably full swimming gear, honestly, because this is a long swim. And you're going to want to make sure you have a tier two dagger because we're going to have to pop, break some soggy roots along the way. I think I cut some of them on the way down here before. I don't remember exactly how many there were, but you definitely have. And there's also a bunch of water fleas down here. And there's some diving bell spiders. So when we come down here, there's going to be a split. You're going to go to the right. Head over here. Cast all these water fleas. Again, I'm pretty sure there were soggy roots along this path. So make sure you bring yourself a bone dagger or a spider fang dagger. Plus you're going to need it to hunt these enemies. And we get all the way down here, and there is a Mega Molar. That is our sixth and final Milk Molar that is at the Sandbox. So just to recap, we got the one that was in the Treasure Chest, which you're going to need the you're gonna need the Assistant Manager card from the mini boss that's inside the Black Ant Hill. You open the lab that's in here. There's a little puzzle there that tells you what you have to do. So you have to get the key that's buried treasure, take it down here and open this up. There's a... Milk morsel. There's a milk molar on top of the tower that's in the center of the sandcastle. There's one inside one of the flower pots that's up on the southern edge of the sandbox. There's one inside this antlion cave. And we got one to the left over here where the roly polies are. And then there's a ton of ore weavers up here that's just sitting down here by itself. And then the one we just showed inside the pipe. So those are the there's three mega and three milk molars in the sandbox. Now we're gonna head over to our final area, which is the picnic table. We finally made it to the last area on the map. This is the picnic table area. This is new. It was updated in the hot and hazy update. What we're going to do is we're going to fi find the last three milk molars that are on the map. So before we head over to the picnic table, we're going to want you want to go in this tube right here, this broken pipe, because inside of here is going to be a key. So you're going to come in here, go down to the right, come over here, and then you're going to swim down here. And there's a key at the end of that. Once you grab that key, you're going to want to head over to the shovel that's leaning over. Now, I've already knocked the shovel over. There is a rock behind it that's breakable. So if you haven't knocked it over, if you drop a brat burst or a splat burst right here on the rock that's behind this thing, the shovel will tip over, providing easy access on top of the picnic table. So let's head up here real quick. And when you get to right about this point, you're just going to walk off so you don't take any damage. And we're going to head over here past the lunchbox that's sitting over here. We're going to head across this beam. Jump up on top of this rusty nail. Then you're going to head up the books here. I've already done this as well. If you haven't already done this, you can, using the level 2 hammer, the insect hammer, you can hit this button right here, which will drop the arm for the cooler down so you can get up on top of the picnic table. So we're going to head up over here, and we're going to go inside this maze over here. There's a board game. Make sure you don't fall through the cracks. And we're going to head inside of here. We're going to go in, go to the left, make a right, 
make a right through this first archway where the door is. Come in here and make a left. And we're in here where the treasure chest is. Now I've already opened it because I got the key. That key you get from that pipe, you're gonna open it up in here. You're gonna get the mega milk molar in here, as well as I believe the yeah, the picnic table chip is also in here, but I've already grabbed that. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head out and go to that cooler that we passed by at the beginning. Get the milk molar that's in there. There's a field station over here. One thing I wanted to show while we're up on this area, you can create a zip line from here to the sandbox to easily access it down there. So you just need, I think it's 12. You're gonna need 12 silk rope to connect that. But we're not doing that right now, so. What we're gonna do is we're gonna head over here and jump down into this lunch box. And as you can see, we got a milk molar in here. Easy to farm that. And then to get out, you just walk up the spork. Is that a spork or a fork? Another spork. And then we we're going to come over here, fall down here, head past the banana peel. And you might also notice there's lots of crow feathers up here. There's a lot of crow feathers on the picnic table after this latest update. And we're going to fall down here, and here's going to be our last mega molar that we're going to find. So you can grab that and pick it up. And just to recap, we got the one up here that was inside the board game. That was using the key that you get down here from the pipe. You got the one inside the cooler or the lunchbox. I think it was a lunchbox that's over here. And this one's just sitting on this beam right by the beehive. So that is the three that are in the picnic area. And that's all the ones we found. That's all the milk molars and mega milk molars on the entire map. So just to recap real quick before I show you how to use the milk molars and mega molars, there were eight milk molars and five mega molars in the koi pond and oak tree area that we looked at first. Then we moved down to the grasslands, which is the center of the yard where the mysterious machine is. There were three milk molars and two mega molars there. The hedge had five milk molars and three mega molars. The deck and haze area had three milk molars and two mega molars. A trash heap had two of each. A black anthill had two of each. A sandbox had three of each. And finally, the picnic table had one milk molar and two mega molars. Grand total will be 27 milk molars and 21 mega molars. Now, at this point, you're not going to be able to upgrade. When I show you the stats are going to be able to upgrade, you're not going to be able to max everything out just yet. There will be more milk molars and mega molars added to the game. So I will make sure when I, whenever they release those that I'll make videos for those and I'll leave updated link down in the description below this video in case you're seeing this video first. So I'll make sure I put update, updated videos for those down in the description that'll cover any ones that are added in the future because they're definitely going to add more. They've already added a couple after the pet public test server came out. They added, I think, three or four more, maybe more than that. It might have been more than that. They added after the public test server came out two days later, put a patch out, put a bunch more in there. But there's definitely going to be more coming. And as you know, we haven't explored the entire map. So the new areas of the map that haven't been populated yet, they're probably going to have some milk molars and mega molars in there just so we can max out all of our character stats because the developers did say that the goal is to be able to max out all of our stats and all of the stack size bonuses that we can get. So now let's head over and I will show you how to use the milk molars and mega molars to upgrade your character as well as your party. So in order to use your milk molars and mega milk molars, what you're going to need to do is go over to Burgle. Before we do that, I'm going to go down here and break one since I actually didn't do it up to this point. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your insect hammer out. You're just going to hit, chip away the tooth, which is supposed to be a vitamin. And once it's fully broken, it'll it'll have the milk, I think it's milk more. It says milk molar. The ones that are not surrounded by the vitamin, you can just pick up. But I just wanted to show you how to get that. So what we're going to do is we're going to head into Burgle. And anytime you can see how many you have in your inventory. So, so far I harvested seven milk molars and five mega molars. Like I said, the total right now is 27 milk molars and 21 mega molars. And we're going to head into Burgle and cash these in and upgrade ourselves a little bit. Just remember, more are going to be added in the future. So right now you're not going to be able to max out all the stats, but at some point before the game's finished or when the game's finished, you'll be able to max out all the stats that are currently on here. So we're going to head in here to Burgle, and we're going to talk to him. And you're going to see this option that says, pump me up with some milk molar. So when we click on that, it's going to open up a menu. So we have you, and then we have group. The milk molars, which were the white teeth or the blue orbs, those are the ones that are just your stats. So this is only going to affect you. The mega molars, which were the gold teeth vitamins or the gold orbs, they are for the group. That means anybody that joins your server or your and your world save will be able to get benefit from these so it doesn't matter if they're on here when you upgrade them it'll just at any point in the future when someone comes on they'll have these so your choices for you are max health max stamina 
Thirst Burn, Hunger Burn, and Max Mutations. And then over here, you're going to have Max Arrow Stack size, Max Consumable, consumable Sack size. That's going to be food and, yeah, food. And then the next one's going to be, the last one's going to be Max Resource Stack size. So I think that's every other resource in the game. So let's start over here with you. Now, I don't really have any recommendations on which one to use. I guess it really depends on you. Pick which ones you want. I would probably, for me, go with Stamina. So let's try the first one. Everything costs one on the first first one except for the Mutations. So then it goes up, it starts doubling. So let's see if it doubles again. So it's going up by one each time. So we're at max stamina of two. And then we got one point left in here. So let's just use it on thirst because thirst goes down pretty quick. So those those are, that's how you level them up. And then over here, we're going to go with, we got five. I'm not really that worried about arrows because we can carry 20 in a stack. I'd say let's go with resources. So each one of those goes up by three. We can do max consumable. We can do arrows. So right there. So that's how you use the mega milk molars and the milk molars. And once again, you can't max everything out just yet, but in the future you will be able to. So you're gonna have to pick and choose which ones you think are more important. I don't think you can reset them right now. At some point in the future, they may have the ability to reset them, which will be cool because in case you haven't found all of them or you're not able to max everything out at the point you're playing the game and you just want to reset and respect your character, you should be able to do so. So that's where to find every milk and mega molar currently in Grounded and how to use them. When more are added in the future, I'll be sure to leave links in the description below covering them as well. Also, there is a map with all the locations in the description courtesy of RetroBits. Thank you to RetroBits for allowing me to share the map, and thank you to Tog the Bot for helping me find the milk and mega molars. If you found this video helpful, make sure to click the like button, and if you want to support the channel directly, you can do so via channel memberships by clicking the join button or via the link in the description. In addition to supporting the channel, you'll also unlock exclusive loyalty badges and emotes, as well as have the opportunity to get your name in the credits of future videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.